The Holiday Inn Golden Mile Hong Kong has a prime location on Nathan Road, Kowloon. It's a short walk from the ferry pier and the Avenue of the Stars, and it's close to an MTR station, so it's easy to get around. So it's five out of five for its location. But what is this hotel really like? Hi, I'm Phil, and I'm on a grey gap year. Check-in was quick, efficient, friendly, but under a new law I had to pay 10 Hong Kong dollars or about one pound to be able to use the single-use plastics in my room, and this included the complimentary water. Once it was explained to me, I happily paid and made my way to the room. So another day and another hotel, and I'm in a Holiday Inn this time. I'm on the Golden Mile in Hong Kong. Uh, so it's a bit like sort of getting a hotel in central London. You don't really know what you're gonna get. You're expecting it to be a little bit small. Uh, so let's have a look and see what I've got. So straight away, it actually looks like uh, a decent amount of space, doesn't it? If the, you had this hotel uh, in central London uh, in a pretty, you know, mid three star type hotel i think you'd be pretty happy with this little seating area over here which i'm guessing i can kick that out and and relax have my coffee on there in the morning telephones are on the opposite side to me which is always good because it gets in the blimmin way but again these are a decent size sort of uh oh, okay that was unexpected <laughs> these <laughs> these bedside cabinets are a decent size and that has got a uh a big safe in it we'll have a look at that in a little bit <laughs> I, I i need to go on the other side now and have a look at what's on the other side <laughs> oh is it nothing it's just blanked it's nothing at all are you kidding me we've got a safe in that side that's really exciting and they haven't even it's just it's just an empty hollow space okay, we've got a big telly which is telling me about the uh, new rule it means i have to pay 10 hong kong dollars to uh use to use plastics so they're left alone uh single use plastics and then if i want to use them i have to pay 10 hong kong dollars that's what that was saying on that screen uh, what's in here oh fridge perfect pity they didn't put the uh, water in the fridge for me we'll do that now i did ask at reception if you can drink the water in hong kong he said better to boil it so in other words no what we got here now well, that's nothing again cups glasses Ooh. and some tea and coffee that guy's shot be a bit of a, be a, bit of a desk to work at what do we like oh yeah that's kind of comfy oh that's a nice firm bed I see these soft and firm pillowcases, but I don't think there's a lot of difference between the soft and the firm pillows. I think they're just pillowcases. They're all soft. You know, I have thought about, yeah, that's definitely very soft, isn't it? I, I have thought about, oh, that one's perhaps a bit better. So I think those pillows are all soft. Uh, they were at the last one in Bangkok a few days ago. Um, I have debated bringing my own pillow on holiday with me a few times. I've certainly got the luggage allowance. I've got the space in the suitcase. I don't know why I don't. It just seems ridiculous to come on holiday with your own pillow. Uh, maybe I'll do it next time and see how it works. Well, ironing board in the room, dressing gown, two dressing gowns. Oh, and a brolly. Don't worry, I won't open it inside. I'm gonna guess that's gonna say Holiday Inn on it. Okay, so this, this is the bathroom, oddly enough. It's an interesting door to a bathroom, isn't it? That seems okay. This slide, no, it's a door opening job. Okay. And again, we've got White Company, Jasmine, uh, jasmine and rose bathroom shower gel conditioner and shampoo well i'll do won't it now this is bizarre that right is a window 
it's a piece of glass you can see uh, into the room there right so that's that's weird i think this is supposed to control it up and down but i think it's been disconnected so through there is the double bed where you're looking at right now if we lifted this blind up that you'd be looking at the double bed this is it here there there's the bathroom it's just the oddest thing to design a bathroom with a window in the shower cubicle into the main room. I don't know what it is about that. It's just, uh, it's got me in touch puzzled. So that's the room. Uh, I'm kind of happy with that, I've got to be honest. Uh, if the aircon keeps the room cool once I've had a shower and I don't feel clammy all night. It, uh, it was £123 a night. I've used points because the points gave me a better price. I could have even just bought the points and saved money doing that way. Uh, so yeah. We'll see how we get on in a few days' time. So the family opposite are being just incredibly noisy. They were incredibly noisy last night. They've got a few rooms. They leave them on the latch. They're in and out of each other's rooms. Every time somebody goes in or out, the door slams and bangs. It has a an awful bang noise like this. That's the noise it makes. So I've called down to reception and I've asked them to move me and that's what they're doing. So I'm busy packing right now. But before I move, because I don't know what kind of room I'm going to go to, I might go down a few floors because I'm basically complaining and that's normal. Uh, I just wanted to show you the view. The most coveted views in Hong Kong are those that uh, look over the vista of Victoria Harbour. And it is a beautiful thing to see. Uh, but this is my view. So not a beautiful vista, not Victoria Harbour. I don't think there's any actual views, as it were, for this hotel. It's very long and thin. So Nathan Road is going to be that way. Uh, and at the very front, there might be two or three rooms that have a view of Nathan Road. And then, you know, there might be two or three rooms that have a view out the back of the hotel that way. Uh, but I think most, most rooms in this hotel will get either this view or a similarly ugly view on the other side of the, uh, on the other side of the uh, corridor there. So due to that noisy family opposite, the hotel have kindly moved me from 1724 uh, to a different room. 1824 so exactly upstairs one floor up from from where i was let's take a look and see what we got and as you can see it is actually an identical room well almost identical room in almost every way so the bathroom is the same except that weird window, the blind works. <laughs> now this is an odd feature to me. I don't really know why this feature exists. I don't really know why you would want a window there in your hotel. That does seem just a little bit bizarre that you've got a little curtain on a glass I mean, why is it a glass panel could somebody please tell me in the comments why you would want that feature in your hotel room so same room same view same bed which had comfy pillows i'm hoping this one's going to be just as comfortable uh this little seating area i wasn't sure about it but this actually moves really easily so actually when you're when you're sat down you can kind of just move it and put my shoes on there really should i let's kick my shoes off so i can show you what this is like i'll put my shoes on the uh, on the furniture that's just rude you can sort of move it around with your feet it's on wheels so it kind of moves very easily i was i kind of wondered what it was going to be like trying to move a big poof around uh to get comfy and then you know but it's actually very good i want one of these in my house So this is sort of the first problem that I've come across really here uh, and that is that the shower is blocked and I don't know how I clean, that, clean this and not realise that that doesn't drain uh, but I'm going to report it to maintenance and uh, 
I guess we'll find out what happens next. So I reported this morning that the drain wasn't, uh, that the drain wasn't draining properly in the shower. And I mean, look, it's, you, it just doesn't go down. So I've called down and uh, asked them about this. And they said, oh, sorry, we'll send the technician back up again. I'm like, what do you mean back? They clearly haven't been, no one's been to that drain. Nobody could run that water and say that's okay. Hello. Hi. Uh, no. Yeah. The engineer came up shortly afterwards and he used a plunger to lift the cover that sits over the drain, some tweezers to pick up the hair that was blocking the drain, which I then flushed down the toilet for him. He checked it was working, replaced the cover and left. Thank you. See you, bye. He was in the room for one minute and 43 seconds. Around the hotel there's a rooftop pool with sun lounges. It looks like there's some kind of rooftop bar, but I'm not sure it's ever staffed. There's also a decent gym, but my card wouldn't open the door to the gym, uh, but I could film it from the outside through the obscured glass. And a very nice and relaxing bar. I thought it was rather stylish and I sat there a couple of nights and had a Stella and some complimentary nuts. Uh, my complimentary amenity was a small Stella. I guess it was about half a pint. And so the issues were resolved, but I guess because of them, the hotel went from five out of five to four out of five. And then I came to check out. So plan A was go to the uh airport nice and early uh, and do a bit of a lounge crawl but I found out that BA don't open their checking desks until three hours before so the checking desk won't open until eight o'clock so plan B is then sit in the bar and grab a cup of coffee uh, and just sit up there plug in somewhere and work up there that's fine no problem at all uh, apparently the bar is shut on Monday the hotel that closes its bar on Mondays so I asked where else I could sit the guy says go sit in Starbucks a four-star hotel telling you to go and sit in Starbucks because they can't provide you somewhere to sit and work is outrageous. I've been in hotels all over the world. I've had business meetings in hotels all over the UK. It's just something you do. You walk in, you get your laptops open, you order some teas and coffees and you have your meeting and then you go. So the first few days were definitely a five. Then we had issues with noise, issues with overflowing showers. Uh, repairs not being done when they were promised. So right now, would I come back? I feel like no. Once I've calmed down, maybe yes. I think it was the bar being closed on Mondays, followed by the attitude of the staff that got me riled up, probably when he said just go and sit in Starbucks. Now compare that to the service I received in the Sheraton a few days previous. I was invited to relax in their lounge, spend as long as I needed with all the tea, coffee and snacks I could manage. This stay cost me 24,000 points per night, which is the equivalent of about 96 pounds per night. And the cash price was probably about 125 pounds per night. So it's time to say goodbye to the Holiday Inn on uh, Golden Mile in Hong Kong. Uh, and it's time to head off to the airport. Rant is over. I'm feeling a lot calmer now. I'm still sort of 50-50 on whether I come back here again. There are little things about this uh, hotel that make me wonder whether it is the right hotel to come to. But of course, price would always play a factor. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. And if you have, please do give me a like, consider subscribing to the channel, and thank you for watching and joining me on my grey gap year.